should you go to film school? Well, obviously that's the big question, that's why you're watching this video, and that's the question I'm asking myself. I'm not going to make this video pretending I have the straightforward answer to whether you should specifically go to film school. The whole point of this video is it depends on your situation. So when it comes to learning how to make films, or just the different skills involved with filmmaking, I break it down to three different paths. There's film school, community college, and lastly, self-taught filmmaking. None of these routes are perfect. There's things you gain from each of them. So I think it's important to really take a look at all these different routes and determine what makes the most sense for you. The first route is traditional film school. This is going somewhere like UCLA or USC or even the University of Oregon, where I live in Eugene. Go Ducks! And it's very tempting. You see this big flashy film school, all of the things they have and offer, and you want to go. Pros to going to film school is you make great connections with other people passionate about filmmaking and who are really serious about making it a career. You get to work with, you know, people in the industry, people that have really developed their skill and know what they're teaching after years and years of experience. And you get to work with high quality, you know, high end camera gear, as well as lighting and audio equipment. And lastly, you get the great structure of learning how to write, edit, and shoot your films. So that's a pretty cool experience, and I think it's one that shouldn't be overlooked. There are some huge drawbacks, and the number one drawback is always the money commitment. When you look at film school, film students acquire a lot of debt over time. I graduated college with $97,000 in student loan debt. 43 million borrowers in this country owe about $1.5 trillion in federal student loan debt. You could take that, say, $40,000 and invest that in camera gear that would be yours, you own. You could also invest it in a short film. You don't have to have these crazy budgets. You could take that $40,000 and really make something with it. I think, you know, you're coming away with a better developed skill, but if you're able to develop that on your own, you're saving a lot of money and putting it towards something meaningful. Another huge drawback is the time commitment. You're spending about four years to develop your filmmaking skills. And if you don't manage your time right, you could just come walking away with just a degree, more developed skills, but no actual experience in the field or no actual work to show for it. You could have spent those four years actually developing your skill on your own while finding clients and making your own short film, for example. I have to pay $60,000 in loans for two years of school, and I've learned more from the internet, from tutorials, from websites like Skillshare in weeks than I did in fucking two years. It's baffling to admit that that's the truth. And the last main drawback to film school for me personally is a classroom isn't the best learning environment for everyone. Now this is me personally and it's something you have to consider for yourself and how you learn, but I think a lot of people out there do better, you know, getting into filmmaking, getting a camera in their hands and just going. I think the trial and error teaches you a lot better than sitting in a classroom discussing the philosophy of film without actually getting into it. I think there's something to be said about just going out and shooting and then learning from mistakes. It does more to actually teach you in the moment, and it's what has worked better for me personally. The second route is community college. This is one usually for people trying to save money, not go into debt, or for people that just can't go straight into film school yet. So this is something I'm pursuing currently, getting my associate's transfer degree. So then that way in the future, if I would like to go to film school, I can go down that route. But it's also been a great opportunity to take filmmaking courses. Now, not every community college may have filmmaking courses. But luckily enough for me, through Chemeketa Community College, I got to take three filmmaking courses and the instructor was fantastic. While it's not the route a lot of people look at when they're looking for film school, it's something to consider because you're really not gonna go into a huge amount of debt and you may still get to work with a great professor who has great one-on-one -on -one interactions with you. I know for me personally, the instructor of the course, Christian, was so good at you know telling us his previous experiences, the things he's learned from issues he's faced on set and other film productions and kind of using his experience to help teach us. Now it's likely that going to film school you'll still have a professor that has experienced a lot of issues and will take his or her experiences and help you learn from them but I think there's something to be said about a community college where you get that one-on-one -on -one interaction and you can actually you know ask questions and really dive deep on specifics for filmmaking. From what I've heard film school doesn't give you that straight one-on-one -on -one interaction. And the last huge benefit to community college is the low time investment. For example, I made my first short film uh, through community college. If you do want to see what it was like for me to actually direct my first short film, it'll be linked up above. So for me personally, community college was a pretty fast three-term course. 
that basically just gave me a guideline on how to make films. And while this didn't teach me everything about filmmaking, it was such a good and fast way to learn about filmmaking that I feel like I really absorbed a lot from the course. Now obviously there's drawbacks to community college, you're going to a small, uh, more affordable college, so you're really not going to have great camera gear. I know for us personally, a lot of the time we shot on our own gear or a lot older cameras. On top of that, you know, you could end up getting a professor that doesn't know what they're talking about or doesn't have that much experience. I was lucky for me personally, our instructor knew what he was talking about, but that is something you have to consider with going to community college is the actual development you're going to gain from these instructors. And the last route, and my personal favorite, is self-taught filmmaking. So this is going out and just making videos, making short films, making documentaries, mini documentaries, whatever you can make, going out and just making them and learning from your experiences. You think it's still possible for an upcoming filmmaker to go the route you guys went and still be successful? Make Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> you make a goddamn kick-ass movie and you can take it all over the planet Earth. On top of just learning from going out in the field, there's actually learning online. Watching YouTube obviously is the hugest resource out there now. I've learned so many different filmmaking techniques, how to edit on Final Cut Pro, how to use a gimbal correctly, all these different things through YouTube and watching tutorials. And there's also the option of reading books or even re-watching movies and taking what you see in those movies and trying something or recreating it. There's so much value from learning on your own, but there are some flaws to self-taught filmmaking. Obviously you don't get that push and structure as with a film school or even with something like community college. It's something I've struggled with myself. You know, you don't get the push to create a film so you may not make a film. You know, I only made my first short film when I was actually in community college and it's hard to actually, you know, get together a crew, get the funds and actually just go out and shoot a short film when you're just doing it on your own. It's hugely important if you are going to go the self-taught route, you have to actually make an effort to be watching tutorials, be reading books, be watching films and actually trying to learn from them and being able to put those actual skills into motion. Not just watching a tutorial and then saying, yeah, I may try that someday. Going out and trying it, take it back, edit it, see how it turns out, and then using trial and error to, you know, perfect these different techniques. So another thing to consider when looking at film school is a lot of great directors right now didn't go to film school or they dropped out of it. James Cameron, Quentin Tarantino, Wes Anderson. I think it is something important to note because even though you may not be as great as Quentin Tarantino just going out and shooting films, there is still something to be said that, you know, to be the best in filmmaking, you don't have to get a degree from an institution like USC or UCLA. I hope this video helped you make a decision about if you want to go to film school or not. Obviously it's a decision I'm still struggling with and determining what to do, but I think it helps to actually, you know, talk about it, think about what you want to do, weigh the pros and cons, and then determine what route you want to go. It doesn't matter if you go to film school, go to community college, teach yourself, it just matters if you're making films. So I think it's important you decide if you can push yourself to actually make these videos or if you're going to need the more traditional route where you're going to have a structure that lays out how to, you know, make a film from point A to point B. It's something I may change my mind on personally. But for right now, I think going headfirst into teaching myself filmmaking techniques and really creating more and more is going to be the right path. So for me this year, I personally want to push myself to make a short documentary that is meaningful and something that I really develop, as well as making more videos that are like mini documentaries or follow a really strong and meaningful subject to me personally. Make films, no matter what anybody says, and you'll be a filmmaker. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I post weekly videos on filmmaking and photography. And I'll see you guys next week.